Welcome! In this video I'm going to talk about this Geiger Müller counter board. It's a very simple circuit. As you can see, here's the GM tube. I will explain it later how it works. And then there are two connections for the power. You can use a jack plug or you can use wires. Uh, simply 5 volts is enough or you can alternatively power it by these pins so you just uh, plug the ground and the 5 volts here so in principle you can run this board from a Arduino circuit and then you have two outputs this is a bit uh, misleading but uh, actually the V in pin is an output pin which you can use um, for example with an Arduino and uh, you also have this jack plug here so you can basically connect this uh, circuit to your computer by this audio connection and uh, use some software to register the clicks or the, the signals but if you don't have any circuit and just uh, use this board by itself, so you just power it, uh, you can still have some feedback. So you have this speaker here, or maybe it's not even a speaker, but uh, whatever it is called, it uh, will give you feedback by making this very well-known clicking sound. And uh, you also have this LED light here, so you get some uh, visual feedback as well. So this is the board uh, in short. I will power it up and uh, show you how it works. So now I have uh, the two wires here. I connected it to a power supply, 5 volts. So let's turn it on. So you can see this uh, LED here, this is the power LED and then here you will see the LED blinking and also I guess you hear the sound. Uh, it has very low power consumption according to the power supply, it only draws 0 0.015 amperes. So basically you can run this circuit uh, from batteries for a quite long time. So you can hear this clicking noise, it's not so often and it's very random, but this is the nature of the background radiation, so it comes randomly, that's how you can uh, use like statistics to explain it. And uh, I have a source, which is an alpha emitting source, it's uh, basically a disassembled smoke detector so now I will uh, use this put it to the tube to have some increased radiation so now you could hear it that if you have some radioactive source close to the tube, at least in the case of the alpha radiation, then the clicks will be more frequent. So now I will explain how this uh, GM tube works and after that I will uh, attach an Arduino circuit to this circuit and also a display. So I will show you some very simple software and a very simple uh, circuit in order to make this uh, board into a more useful board. So now everything is connected. So the two power cables go to the Arduino, 5 volts, and then this is basically the signal that goes to the pin number 2. And I have attached the LCD by using a few cables and also some power. 
So basically that's all and uh, you can hear the clicks but uh, I also made a software so what you can see basically this has been running for a while so the first line is the number of counts uh, per minute but this is basically the result of an integration for 15 uh, seconds so basically I count the count the incoming uh, particles for 15 seconds and I multiply it by 4 so I get the counts per minute it's not so bad uh, statistics but if I use less so like 10 seconds or whatever then I get very bad statistics and if I use like longer integration period maybe I get a bit better statistics but on the other hand I have to wait more time to have the values updated so that might not be the best uh, approach so also I convert the CPM to micro sieverts per hour so you can see the dose uh, here basically or the radiation and then the A A stands for average so this was uh, the counts or this is the counts per minute uh, since I started the uh, counting so in average I got 55 counts per minute and then this is also the same statistics for the for the world time since this uh, device is running and then the counts that's basically the number of counts and if you see it gets updated immediately and now I will have something to shake up this these numbers so you see that the counts are rising rapidly four hundred twenty eight it's a huge increase let's wait another fifteen seconds 540 so it's almost one uh, microsievert per hour but this is just an alpha radiation so if I uh, bring it back a bit there will be a drastic drastic degrees because most of the radiation gets absorbed by the air And also there is a little bit of gamma radiation and that can penetrate uh, thicker air as compared to the alpha so maybe that's the other reason why we have uh, some still uh, high amount of radiation so this is all uh, now you see that you can have this device and then you can have this screen attached to the uh, Arduino so basically you can build your own uh, Gegenmuller counter or dosimeter so here you can see the code for the Arduino in the first few lines I just noted down the pins for the different uh, inputs for the LCD so this is for the screen only so that's how I connected the uh, screen to the Arduino and I'm using this library you will see it in the description but uh, if you just search for this uh, term PCD8544 in the library manager like uh, like here then you just enter it and uh, you will immediately find it and you just install it and everything will work so SPI is also for the screen then uh, I have integrating time 
what I do is a bit of a cheating, but uh, I want to do or I want to have uh, more frequent updates for the counts per minute. So yeah, basically what I do, I uh, count the counts for 15 seconds and then I multiply it by 4 so that will correspond to 1 minute of uh, counts. Because uh, in 15 minutes you have more or less uh, good uh, statistics on the counts. So if you let's say have a stable radiation, for example background radiation, or you put a source uh, next to your uh, detector, then in 15 minutes and in every 15 minutes you will get the same amount of counts roughly, so it's fine. But uh, if you decrease this number you will get less number. And then yeah, one minute I will just need this because uh, I will do some calculations and then I just introduce a bunch of uh, variables you will be able to read it when you pause the video and then uh, this uh, tube impulse is basically we have this uh, VIN uh, pin on the board for the GM tube so that uh, pin sends out a pause signal basically a sort of square wave or something like that. So whenever that comes uh, on the Arduino pin, then uh, I will increase the uh, value of the these uh, variables, counts and events. So basically this is how I count the clicks or counts. And then uh, just simple setup. So here just I uh, define these things for the screen just to make sure that I reset all the variables to zero and then I define the multiplier so for example if I have uh, whatever let's say 10 here then the multiplier will be 6 if I have 20 uh, for the integrating time the multiplier will be 3 and then uh, of course serial is uh, uh, necessary and this attach interrupt is for the V in uh, pin. What means that zero is not the zero pin on the Arduino but the pin number two and uh, this is the pin where you attach the V in pin of the or V in output of your of your radiation uh, board and then uh, you put here the name of your method and then we detect uh, falling edge that's all and then I have uh, a LED light so this is just how I uh, initiate it and then uh, I just print out a message on the serial so like something and then this is my wall loop, so just one uh, method, function, and then here comes the fun part, so this is basically the method. So I start to print the counts immediately uh, when I, after I connected the USB, and then I can start the measurement by sending uh, character S to the serial port, and while uh, so until I don't uh, send a capital N to the board, to the Arduino, uh, this loop will run over and over again. So we will be stuck in this, this loop here, which I highlighted. Uh, and what it does, basically, we start the watch and we see if we, uh, we are over the integrated time, integrating time, which is 15 seconds or not. If we are over, then we enter this loop, so I just increase this average counts and then I rewrite re, uh, the uh, number for the time. I calculate the CPM, as I told you, so I have counts from 15 seconds and not one minute, but I want to uh, show the counts per minute, therefore I have to use the multiplier. So let's say I uh, collect the counts for 20 seconds then there will be a multiplier of 3 so 3 times the number of clicks or counts 
uh, which was measured for 20 seconds will be equal to one minute of count, so CPM. That's all. Here is the formula. And then you can calculate the dose in uh, microsieverts per hour, which is basically the CPM divided by 4 and uh, divided by 151. The 151 is the most important part here. That's the like calibration number for the tube. And then here what I do is basically uh, is necessary for the average values for the CPM. So basically I count the counts uh, from the very beginning and I do or make the average values. And then I print everything on the serial uh, port. So basically time, CPM and average CPM. And then I will uh, do the other calculation to calculate the microsievert per hour from the CPM. I will do it on the computer. So, And then simultaneously I also print everything on my small LCD screen. So basically first row is just the information. So I put an S there as serial and then CPM and microsieverts per hour. So basically the units. And then N is the second row. Basically it means like now. So the first row of value will be the recent or past 15 seconds of uh, uh, data. And then uh, CPM and microsievert is written in the same row. And then we go to the row number three and we print the averages. And that's all. And uh, yeah, we just zero out the counts before we return to the uh, beginning of this loop. Because this is for just the 15 seconds uh, time and not for the wall uh, measurement. So this is all uh, for the Arduino code. It's uh, very simple and uh, I will upload this in case you don't want to type it, but uh, I strongly recommend you to pause the video several times and copy it by hand because then you will understand what I did and why. Because yeah, you will have to, yeah, you will be forced uh, to read the code and not just copy it and paste it. So at least if you read it, then you understand it better. So this is the Arduino part and uh, I will show you how it works through the built-in uh, serial port and I also have my own software which makes everything a bit more easier so yeah let's jump to the serial part so now I connected the Arduino to my computer so I start the serial port so here is the message which is here and then uh, I just send letter S. And now we wait for 15 minutes, uh, 15 seconds. And there you go. This was the first uh, result of the uh, integration. So 15 seconds, uh, 48 counts per minute. And this is the average. And again, we got the same. So 48, 48 of course, because it was the same. So now I spice up the things a little bit and uh, use my source to get some different numbers, but you can already see that we have different numbers because the uh, CPM was a bit lower. So now I wait until the one minute uh, goes away. So you can hear the clicks obviously and there you go so we got almost 900 uh, counts per minute for this uh, 15 minutes uh, 15 seconds uh, period so you see that the average went up quite by a considerable amount but now it goes down of course because uh, we get smaller numbers but uh, you can see it's quite easy to have the numbers like this and uh, 
Yeah, you can do it like updating uh, every second or updating it uh, more frequently than 15 seconds, but uh, then maybe you have to write some algorithm or something just to get uh, proper values. But if you are just logging your values and you have time to like observe, then 15 seconds should be fine. So here is my software. It just shows the CPM, the microsieverts. These are the recent values, just for the last 15 seconds. And of course, average CPM. And you can use average microsieverts as well, but uh, I don't care about that now. So uh, let's connect to the uh, Arduino. And then let's just uh, start it and uh, wait for the chart. Uh, there is something wrong with this elapsed time, but uh, at this point I don't care. I just want to demonstrate uh, how it works. So, you see, we got our first point on the chart. But uh, we have to wait. So now you see, so the two lines are basically the CPM is the red line. Uh, the green line is the microsieverts, and the microsieverts is on the right-hand side uh, y-axis, and the counts per minute is on the left-hand side. But uh, of course they go hand by hand, because there's just a multiplication factor between them. But you see that the average goes a bit differently, because that's of course a bit different. So now I will just put my uh, source next to the tube, and we wait for like 30 seconds and we see how the numbers will change. So now I removed the source, you can hear the lower amount of clicks. So you see that uh, we had some huge peaks here, like 600 uh, CPM and almost one uh, microsieverts per hour. And that is because of the uh, source. But now you see that uh, the recent values go back to almost zero, or sorry, that's like 40, 50. So they go back to the baseline, and uh, you see that the average is also going down. So this will be close to each other within a few minutes, but I will not wait for that. So you can see, and also you can see the data here. So they come in and each line is corresponding to the data from the last 15 minutes. So now you can see that there is like a decrease in the values of the average because the average is going back to the normal. So then, uh, sorry, the recent values are going back to the normal value or the background value so of course the average will follow it as well so this is for all this is all for now i hope you learned something and i hope it was useful for you so yeah if you have any questions about the circuits or the software just uh, let me know and uh, see you next time